Welcome to HSC Economics Made Easy. This video is part two of a series on the exchange rate. Previously, we looked at influences on the exchange rate movements. Before we go deeper into the effects and government intervention on the exchange rate, we're gonna look at one more method of measuring fluctuations in the exchange rate. Last time we established that the exchange rate is looking at the strength of Australia's currency in relation to one other currency. However, we can be appreciating against one currency while depreciating against another. So how do we get a holistic view of the strength of the Australian dollar? This is where the trade weighted index comes in. The TWI measures Australia's movements against a basket of currencies weighted according to trade volumes. This means, for example, our movements against the North Korean currency won't be taken into account because we don't trade much with them anyway. Instead, the TWI is influenced by the top 19 countries that Australia trades with. As you can see, being our largest trading partner, China has the largest influence on our TWI. The TWI isn't without limitations though. For example, we sometimes trade with China using US currency rather than Chinese RMB. But because the TWI is weighted according to trade volume, it doesn't take into account what currency is used. In our example, this transaction would give more weighting to the US dollar in the TWI, since that's what's being used. But instead, it's weighted towards the Chinese currency, making it inaccurate. Now we know how the TWI is calculated, we can test our understanding with a HSC question. 2019's question 21b asks why Australia's exchange rate against the US dollar might move in the opposite direction to the TWI. Sometimes it helps to visualize my answer before I start writing. See, the TWI is made up of a basket of currencies, each possibly moving in different directions. It's weighted towards our major trading partners' currencies. The Aussie dollar could be depreciating against the US, but if it's appreciating against larger trading partners, such as China and Japan, the TWI will continue to increase as the US depreciation has a lesser effect. With that, I hope my visual aids and explanations have made it easier to understand the TWI and this HSC question. If this video has helped you, please leave a like and comment as well as share this video. In my next video, we'll be looking at impacts of exchange rate movement. It's a big topic where the big marks are. So make sure you subscribe and don't miss out on that video. And I look forward to continuing to make HSC economics easy for you. See you next time.